Hi, this is Shiraz Junejo, and today I will be demonstrating a new functionality which we have introduced in IRS, which is how to input an arrangement in T24. AA arrangements are different than normal applications in T24, so we have to take a different route in IRS as well uh, to input these new uh, deals. The minimum requirements are so you can introspect any version of AA arrangement activity application and you have to have a single product line available in T24. So in this example, we'll be using lending as uh, lending uh, from which you can create a new loan or a mortgage or anything you like. If you don't have a product line available within T24 or within your design studio, uh, the build will stop and you won't be able to proceed further. Once you have introspected all these resources, and, and and added a new resource inside in your rim and rebuild the war when you once you deploy you will see a new resource available in your service list which is aa arrangement activity a news uh, which is just a version of a arrangement activity as we just talked about so let's just create a new deal from a arrangement activity this is exactly as we do for a normal application you just say slash new you can pass product as we are creating a new margin loan with activity lending new arrangement if you just simply send post this request on this link, you will get a minimum version of AA arrangement activity, AA new fields from T24. Uh, let's just wait for it. It's just processing in T24. This is the debug output we have in, enabled. So as you can see, we got certain information back from T24, which belongs to AA arrangement activity application. So we got a new ARR sequence, we have an arrangement as new like we have in browser, we have an activity defined and that's the minimum information. So let's just copy this tail now and put it here. So if you can look at the links here, we have a new link now called populate. This populate is just a name given uh, and this is as equivalent as we have a validate method in browser where we can send this information back to T24 with customer and currency and effective date and then T24 on the basis of this information at runtime T24 will return all the property classes belongs to this particular activity which we are performing so let's just copy this href which and post a request back to T24 by appending a customer information let's just use 100260 and a currency called us dollar okay should be capital letters so us dollar so if i just send this information back to t24 this time t24 will validate all the input which we have provided and then return a list of all the property classes belongs to this activity it will take a little bit of time this is happening for the first time and we are running in debug so as you can see I go down a little bit you will see a huge amount of data is coming back from t24 so let's just have a look at this output a little bit in detail so we have now got a new arrangement which is previously as new uh, we got rest of the information as it is but if you can notice a little bit we have now returned these new properties back called aaarr customer these are actually belong to a product line lending and belong to this activity and the main information and the very important information which we are returning in this one is this new property class attribute this property class is something which a user agent has to take care of and then divide in a screen or tabs how, how we look at these screens at the moment in browser is based on this information so we have these property class customer and few properties belong to this uh, this this class and we have officers return back we have account interest schedule and and so on and so forth messaging and stuff like that the this property class this this information which we have here right now is aaarr pay off underscore property killer this is static information it is always going to be there inside in the aa arrangement activity uh, deal and uh, and the user agent has to use this information to split the screen for user that this is uh, this this particular property belongs to aa.arr pay off super uh, application and so on and so forth so after looking at this information let's just try to input this arrangement so if i just copy simply copy this deal which i got returned back from d24 and if i just simply paste here 
if I look at my links returned back to me earlier, so you can we can input a new deal, which is link relation input, and the href we need to use is is here. So if I just simply post my or, or now I will be doing a put in this in this scenario because the reason reason being is that this particular arrangement activity has already been submitted or has it been in committed in INAU status in T24. So we have to do put. We have to use put on this new request and we'll just need to send this information back. So if I just send this information back to T24, you will see if there is any problem, we will get an error messages back. So it, as you can see, the error messages, we try to keep it sync as we have for other applications. So for example, it says this particular code in arrangement belongs to a property class because as you can see, we can have multiple of these property classes belongs to a same deal. We have to inform the user agent that this particular error belongs to this property class and this is the output, this is the text and this particular field has an issue with it. So we provide a fully qualified name which has an one more nesting level in T24 uh, in Iris we have as, uh, as compared to the other resources in T24. So if I look at the term amount, this is the mandatory field and there are a few other ret error return back then a schedule, it's a missing property, we don't have the property class and all so on and so forth. So the actual error which we can send back to T24 that will solve this issue which is term amount, we need to add, provide a term amount which is part of the commitment. So we, because previously we didn't send anything back. So in the amount field, if I just enter 26,000, that's my margin loan which we are applying for. If I send this information back to T24, if there is any problem, if there is no other problem left, I will be getting back an override. An override mechanism is exactly as it is, as like we have for any other application in T24. So you will get a type of override with a code and the text, which we can send to T24 uh, to user. And if the user accepted this override, we just have to copy this code, as we do for any other application, and send it inside in the override field in the arrangement activity. If I send back this information now to T24 with the override accepted, T24 would take some time to process and we should be able to get a successful result. Thank you very much.